We're going to be talking about another very very exciting fish species now as someone who gets quite a lot of pictures sent to them about what is this fish or asked in the shop here yeah, I caught this fish I don't know what it is um, by the way little tip if you do catch a fish you don't know what it is take a picture please it's much easier to work off pictures obviously the more the merrier and let it go that's the big point we generally try and get across here if you've caught something, you don't know what it is, you don't know the regulations around it. If you do keep it, you can get yourself in a lot of trouble. Some of these prohibited species, you know, you can actually serve jail time for keeping fish like that. So, obviously, oh, that's an extreme, um, but generally very hefty fines and things like that are surrounded by them. And ignorance can't save you on there because it does say on your license that you register and you know that all the fish species XYZ. Look on the license, find terms and bottom. Anyway, side point. Today, we're going to be talking about the Protea Bream. Now, the Proteobreme Paracasia xanthera is quite a unique species. It's something that gets confused with a lot of other species often. Um, when it's alive, so often you get shown pictures of when these fish are dead, it sometimes becomes a little bit difficult because the colors actually fade. Now, when it is alive, it's got probably the most iridescent blue coloration other than a blue, blue fin kingi um, that any fish really has. They, similar to your fusiliers and stuff like that, that have that really chartreuse yellow uh, coloration on them. He's got an overall sort of bream shape to him, a little bit more elongated, so not as fat as a bronze bream, more, more torpedo-like. And uh, same sort of face structure, same eye structure, everything like that. He's got a blue stripe that sits underneath his eye over here. That's a sort of an aquamarine kind of color and then a very um, distinctive sort of chartreuse stripe there above his tail. So those sort of t uh, color combinations like that generally make it fairly easy to identify. As a species, they, you really find them offshore, you don't get them inshore. Um, they feed primarily on zooplankton. Now, for you who don't know what zooplankton is, you get two kinds of plankton basically to split it up. You get plants and you get animals. Now, phytoplankton is your plants. They use sun to produce, uh, produce all their, their food, and zooplankton, which are your animals. So zoo, animals, phyto, uh, plants. Anyway, so they mainly feed on your zooplankton, so any of the organisms floating around. Um, in terms of where we get them, Indo-Pacific, so anywhere in the Indo-Pacific itself, they're really very, very widespread. Here we're getting them KZN up to Mozambique. Um, and that's obviously, as I mentioned, all offshore. Now, from the limited data that we have on these species, we find that they're fairly resonant. They form these large shoals of off uh, offshore structures, so your pinnacles and your reefs and stuff like that. And uh, they form these large aggregations and get together like that, and that's often where you get catch a whole lot of them. In terms of sizing, age, they don't really know about the maximum age. We don't have uh, uh, any data on that. And size-wise, the max recorded size is about 2.85, I think it was exactly. So just under 3 kilos and about 45 centimeters total length. So a fairly biggish species, um, but generally like your bream, as I said, not as deep body. So obviously the sizing is not going to be, I mean, a 45 centimeter bronze bream is giant. Now, if you've got a 45 centimeter protea bream, it's a lot more slim sort of the streamlined version is going to be a lot thinner. In terms of catching wise, this is one of those species that if you did keep it would, would have been fine. You're allowed 10 per person per day, um, but that's as part of your your entire catch of 10. So you can't catch 10 of these, 10 of those, 10 of those, 10 of those. it's 10 encompassing. Um, and commercial, as far as I know, is unlimited. So it's a species that is not at the moment, as far as I know, um, under threat. So it is a species that we you could possibly rather target instead of some of the other more more endangered, more threatened species. And yeah, it's one of those species that, as I mentioned, is probably the most asked for um, 
identification for me at least uh, for your offshore species. So if you didn't know, now you know, the Protea bream. Um, lovely species, beautiful and uh, one of the species that actually is quite nice to eat. So yeah, Protea bream. Cheers guys. Oh, oh, oh.